Hey, what's going on YouTube? Ryan here. Welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Welcome back to another Animal Crossing and Chill video, and welcome to a brand new month. Now, I know that <laughs> I'm making this video a little bit later in the day than usual. Usually when I make these videos, it's at like 5 o'clock in the morning, and then I post them at like 7.30 a.m. But this morning, I guess I was so excited to do the new fish and new bugs that I ended up completely skipping it and doing some of the event, or rather, event, doing some of the new features and new content without recording, which I apologize for, but we're here now. Please forgive me. I hope that's okay. Um, as you can see, I have my webcam on this time, uh, particularly because in the morning, I don't really have my hair looking good. I look like a mess. So <laughs> uh, we're going to try something a little bit different. Um, we're going to have the webcam on. We're going to play the game, as always, for these types of videos. We're going to go 30 minutes in and see how many bugs and new fish we can get. As always, I'm going to pull up the old ACNH guide that I use and um, and see what we can catch. But as always, when it comes to these Animal Crossing and Chill videos, primarily just used for you guys to leave on in the background, uh, just kind of hang out with me, play some Animal Crossing, or to just even have on while you're doing your usual daily things. Uh, while you guys are listening, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and stop myself and say, hope you guys have had a wonderful Wednesday so far. Hope you guys have had a wonderful week. I just want to thank everybody so much for the uh, the support on the channel and on the Twitch channel as well. I've been getting a lot of people, there goes a new bug, uh, hopping over and saying hello. So I appreciate it. Um, that's a cicada, which I caught a lot of this morning. But uh, I do have one big announcement, which is the reason why I didn't want to skip posting a video today at all. And that is because, where is it? For those of you that were on the stream, you already know what's about to happen. For those that aren't on the stream, this is going to be pretty exciting. So earlier this week, we were asked to move out by stitches and we said no. Uh, and what you can do is when someone asks you to move out, before you finish the dialogue, all you have to do is close out your game and then open the game back up again. Now, luckily, we were able to get an auto save right before Stitches asked us to move out, so it's not like we lost that much progress. But as you can see, two days later, which was yesterday, Yuka asked us to move out. And so, you know, I've gone over this before, but when it comes to the villagers that we currently have, Lyman, Stitches, and Ketchup are really the ones that we're looking to keep. So when Stitches asked me to move out, we were all a little bit, nah, not too excited about it. Um, but then I found out all you have to do is just close out the game and open it back up again. And now here we go. We have Yuka. And I've already mentioned this before. I try not to have, or I'm trying not to have more than one villager type on my island at one time. Given that Lyman is, uh, <laughs> is someone that I really, really enjoy having on my island, that would mean that the only logical choice would be for Yuka to go. And so... Yuka is going to be moving out tomorrow, and what this means is that I'm actually going to be doing a villager hunt live stream tomorrow over on Twitch. Now, I know how much people love villager hunt videos, and if you want to catch a villager hunt live and see who we run into and stuff like that before it becomes a YouTube video, uh, there will be a link in the description down below. I'll even post a comment with a link to my Twitch channel as well for anybody who wants to come by and hang out while we do the villager hunt live. It's going to be really fun, and I hope to see some of you guys there. Uh, the stream will start at 9 p.m. Eastern. I know, it's a bit late. <laughs> but with that being the time I get off, and then uh, and by off, I mean get off work, um, uh, and then having to come home and then unwind and stuff like that, uh, unfortunately, that's the best I could do. So if anybody can make it, by all means. Uh, but if you can't, then uh, look out for the video. I plan on posting a video uh, for the villager hunt this upcoming Saturday. Honestly, the next couple of days for these types of videos is going to be uh, pretty jam-packed. We have the, the summer event. I keep calling all these updates events. <laughs> we have the summer update coming on Friday, so expect an Animal Crossing and Chill video that morning. I promise I won't forget. Uh, we'll do an Animal Crossing and Chill video that morning. We're going to be hanging out. We're going to see what it's going to take to get Pascal to... Uh, to encounter us. A lot of people are saying that he simply will just show up depending on a sea creature or creatures that you get. Um, I haven't looked too far into it, particularly because I am trying to kind of learn that information on my own. 
But uh, otherwise, I'm super excited for it. I know a lot of you guys are too. Uh, not only do we get a ton of other creatures that we get to add to our museum, but we also then um, have just brand new things that we can do in the game in general. Uh, what's up, Gladys? How are you? Sorry to just spring this on you, but could I convince you to buy my happy tea? I don't even know what that is, but we're gonna do it. Sure. You know what? Actually, I think we can haggle her down a little bit because I think like we're pretty good friends with her that we can do that. How about 672? Okay, keep going. I think... Okay, what about a 480? Okay, I just don't need it. That would be pretty cruel. Okay, we'll just buy it. You can never have too many clothes in this game. Speaking of clothing, as you can see, I have my most wonderful summer outfit on. I'm ready to go swimming. I'm really, really ready to go swimming. <laughs> oh man, if you haven't got your summer outfit on, you better get it ready, because Friday is fast approaching. Speaking of which, I am so glad that I have a four-day work week. We have off on Friday to, uh, to, um, Phoebe, what are you doing? <laughs> Just, like, usually chairs spawn right here, but there's no chairs here. It's literally she just sitting on the floor looking... Is this the thumbnail? Hold on. Gladys, can you move, please? Actually, here, just move this way. There you go. No, move that way. Not that way, move this way. There we go. Hold on. Oh, no, that's not gonna work. Let me see. What if I get up here? Is a tree in the way? Nope. Oh, that's perfect. Thank you. That actually works out well. Okay, let me get out of the picture. <laughs> okay, I need to take a few. And then we'll take a normal one because it's actually daylight out. There we go. That looks like it could be a good it could be a good thumbnail. Okay, anyways. Um <laughs> I don't even know what I was talking. Oh, that's a new one. I think so. Uh, yeah, so, uh, haven't caught any new bugs, and we've already been recording for seven minutes now. But, uh, there are currently two, three, four, five, six... About seven different stags that I haven't quite caught yet. There's also a couple of fish, too, that I have yet to... Well, to be fair, I didn't really go fishing this morning. It looks like they can be caught pretty much all day. Um, the Napoleon fish which looks hilarious, is going to be in the ocean. Same thing with the with the ocean sunfish, of course. Both largest, but the ocean sunfish has a fin on it. We also have a puffer fish now in the game. Medium also caught in the ocean. Cool. Okay, so one of the things that I know I need to do... Oh, here's another one. A sweet fish caught in the river. Okay, sweet fish caught in the river. Okay, so one of the things that I know I need to do is I need to get a ton more palm trees. I don't know if I've caught all of these stags that are usually palm tree spawns, but I know that people have been telling me that a lot of the ones that you can catch are a lot of the more rare ones are the one, you know, they're palm tree stags. I think I have this one already. I do, the Miyama stag. Okay, so I need to go to a mystery island to get more palm trees. And really, the Mystery Island is also going to be helpful for me in regards to catching river fish, too. At least I hope I catch some. Uh, let me take a look here and see. I think we'll go ahead and do that now. Actually, let me go ahead and check my Nook's Cranny itself and see. See, we don't really get to do these in, uh, <laughs> in these types of videos. We never get to actually go into Nook's Cranny. It's always just walk around, catch some bugs, catch some fish, and see what happens. Um... That's a beautiful piano right over there. I know it's worth more than 17,000, but let me take a look. Oh yeah, okay, that's okay. 260,000 bells, we'll go ahead and buy it. While I'm on my way back to, uh, to the resident services center so I can get some money, um, how do you guys feel about having the webcam up here? To be honest with you guys, I... I Ugh. I mean, I usually don't have the webcam up here, so I feel like you guys are used to just seeing the gameplay, or generally speaking, most of you guys just have the video up on the background. On the background? In the background? Um, so I don't know if the webcam is too intrusive, I don't know if you guys even really care, but let me know in the comments section down below whether or not I should even do this anymore. As I mentioned, in the mornings, whenever I do these types of videos, definitely no webcam because I just, um... I look like a hot mess. <laughs> uh, but otherwise, if you guys don't care either way, let me know as well. 
uh, that way when I do put a webcam up for some reason, I don't know. I just feel like I'm able to connect with you guys more when I have a webcam on here. Is that crazy? Anyway, uh, so we'll get the, get the grand piano. I need to get a Nook Miles ticket. And um, yeah, so in regards to who I'm planning or wanting to get from the villager hunt tomorrow that we're going to be doing, um, I have a list of favorite villagers that I want to get as of the last um, dream team or dreamy villager hunt video that we did uh, a little under two weeks ago, actually. Uh, it's, I think it's great that we have another villager hunt video coming up so soon. Um, I know Clay is one of them. Uh, I guess shout outs to Shaperka. <laughs> Everybody brings her up every time I say I love Clay. Um, so if she ever watches this video, hello, how are you? Uh, I'm a fan. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, Clay, I think uh, Apple is also one of them as well. Honestly, I can't remember them all off the top of my head. But I know like Eric, Bo, um, Sherb even. Uh, I have to look at all the rest of them. But I know Pinky, I just bought that piano. Oh god, she is oof, very surprised. Um, but yeah, uh, so... What was I talking about? I've completely lost track of what on earth I was talking about. I'll rewatch this video later on and go, oh yeah, that's right. Oh, right, villagers. <laughs> uh, so in regards to villagers that I'm really looking for, uh, I'll take a look at the list again because some of the villagers I currently have on my favorite residence or my dream residence list are, I think they're duplicate species. Um, I'm, I'm not entirely positive, but let me take a look. Apple, bow, clay, dom, Eric, I think Eric and Bo are both deer. Yep, so it's either one or the other. Judy still. Meringue. Sherb and I don't know why Stitches is still on there. Tia. I actually love Tia. I, I think Tia would actually be a really cool one. I'm not really a fan of the uh the bulkier or taller villagers, so elephants, rhinos, or uh or eagles or stuff like that. But Meringue is awesome because she just looks like strawberry shortcake. And then Tia, come on. She's got a freaking teapot for a head. Are you kidding me? Tia looks fantastic. So those are the list, uh, short list of the ones that I would be uh, more than happy to get. Um, I know that usually when people do, or not not usually, I don't know the actual like numbers for this, but I know that when people do villager hunt videos, more often than not, they're usually looking for one particular villager and they'll go through 50 to 100 um nook miles tickets in order to get said villager what does this even look like oh it's actually oh, it's not that bad but i'm still gonna wear this because it's summertime uh anyways yeah so i mean if i were to get any of those villagers i think it'd be totally fine now here's a funny thing about that um if i get any of those villagers within the first 10 tickets would make for a very boring and uh villager hunt video <laughs> so uh, I mean, I guess I could technically put the ones that I currently have favorited in tiers and be like, well, I would definitely take these ones. I would be hit or miss on these ones. You know what I mean? So I don't know. Maybe that's what we'll do, but I'll kind of flesh that idea out more as uh, the next 24 hours comes along here. But uh, yeah, I'm still super excited to get another villager, brand new villager on the island. In the meantime... Let me go ahead and uh, let's head to a mystery island and get some more trees here. I know that there is one bug in particular that you have to catch by shaking um, these uh, cedar trees, but I don't know if it's like items where if you shake it one time during the day, it will not have a chance to spawn there at all. You guys know what I'm talking about? Um, like, if I shake a tree and there's no item out from it, it's not going to then magically have an item later on. That kind of thing. I don't know if the bug works exactly the same. And I'm not even sure if uh, it's even spawnable right now. I'm not too familiar with which bo with which, which box, with which bugs spawn where. Alright, so... Plan here is to hopefully get a mystery island that has a river on it and then to uh, also get a few more palm trees to put on our beach, which honestly we needed to get anyway. My beach had been looking um, pretty barren 
and stale for the last like month anyway. <laughs> so more palm trees uh, would always be a welcome thing, I think. And then, uh, oh yeah, we need to try and catch some of the, the sea fish as well. So this is uh, Sister Fruit Island. I can't remember if this one has a river coursing through it. I think it does. Uh, yes, it does. Okay, awesome. So we'll take a look for the, uh, I think it's called the, the sweet fish or something like that. Don't, what is it called? Yeah, sweet fish. Okay. By the way, this is also one thing about having a webcam that is like a bit odd because like you guys can see when I look down at my phone now. <laughs> Uh, so this, these fruits are going to be good for me because I need to use them to pick up the palm trees. Those cicadas, I can already tell, are going to get quite annoying. Oh, they're already annoying. <laughs> and I have to remember that the sweet fish in the river is not a large fish, or it's not a largest fish, it is a medium-sized shadow, so I need to keep track of that. Make sure I remember that. I mentioned on the uh, on the live stream, I guess while I'm plucking these these uh is that different? It doesn't look different, but I'm going to catch it anyway. No. Okay, I think they all pretty much live in on trees. I actually think Lyman asked for that a long time ago. I don't know if that carries over from day to day. Um, God, I, I need to stop getting sidetracked. I have no idea. Oh, right. <laughs> God, man. So I talked about this on the live stream. I feel like a lot of these Animal Crossing and Chill videos have kind of uh, lost the essence of the chill. More often than not, whenever I do one of these Animal Crossing and Chill videos, at least within the last maybe week or so, I've noticed that the topics I tend to be talking about are a little bit more... Mmm... Serious? Which is a, a kind of a weird word to use, I suppose. Uh, I don't really know how to explain it, but the, these videos became less about Animal Crossing and more about just me talking. And I don't know if people actually like that at all. Uh, I know that when I did the uh, Getting Bored of Animal Crossing video, uh, you know, that one... That one was uh, more of a serious topic-ish. Serious and Animal Crossing is such a, a weird... <laughs> weird thing to use in the same sentence. Um, but, you know, it, I felt like I was still talking about Animal Crossing, but it wasn't it wasn't as much about just enjoying the game. It was more just like addressing people's concern with getting bored of the game. Which, by the way, I think a lot of people misconstrued why I was making that video. Um, I am in no way, shape, or form getting bored of this game. Uh, I think a lot of people saw the title of the video and then maybe listened to the first five minutes and then thought that I, I was saying I was getting bored of it, and that's not the case. I uh, just want to clarify, that was just me addressing the fact that people have told me over and over again that they have been getting bored of the game and what I do to prevent my boredom. Anyways, so when this Friday's video comes up, I'm going to do my best to just make it more about the, the chill aspect of Animal Crossing and, and not try to make it so much about a serious topic and just kind of hang out with you guys and, um, you know, just, just hang out and chill and play Animal Crossing. That's, I mean, that's, that's the name of the series, isn't it? <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to do my best in the future to try not to talk about, you know, topics like that. If you guys don't care either way, or if you guys do enjoy when I talk about those kinds of things, um, you know, then by all means, let me know, because I totally don't mind talking about it. But I feel like when I was talking about it, you guys maybe were thinking like, I don't know why he's talking about this. This kind of takes away from the essence of the series. And even right now, I'm talking about something that's serious. So I'm going to detract. You guys know what I'm talking about. All right, cool. Now then, I do need to try and catch some fish here, because trying to catch fish on my main island is going to be a bit of a pain. Uh, let me see. So I'm looking for fins, and I'm looking for the largest shadows possible. You know what I should have done? I have tons of manila clams. I should have made a lot of fish bait first. Because now, this is going to be a much more difficult endeavor. Anything in the middle? Uh, these look like a couple of medium fish here. Uh, I think... Oh, they both look exactly the same size. Let me see. 
Also, people have pointed out that I do close my eyes and listen. Instead of, uh, instead of watching it. It's a weird thing that I do, but it definitely helps. It's one of those things that I guess you're never really self-conscious about until people point it out. Is that it already? Well, that was easy. Awesome. Okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, I caught this also, the scarab beetle this morning. So that's awesome. We have a couple of things to donate to Blathers. Let me just pull up my phone here, double check and see. Wow, 21 minutes already. Okay. Alright, so, caught the sweet fish. Now we still need a puffer fish. And the two big fish. Um, the summer ocean fish, I think, is what it was called. And the uh, Michelangelo fish? Napoleon fish. Michelangelo fish. I'm just, like, naming off Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles now, thinking that that's... <laughs> that I got it, you know, one out of four times, you're gonna be right. So I don't think there are any, there's no river fish that I need to catch at the moment now, I don't think. Or that I can catch right now. The puffer fish is an ocean fish. Yeah, it is. Okay, so, done with the river. Uh, this is not it. I believe the puffer fish, yep, is a size 3, and this is at least a size 2, so we're gonna let that one go. That's... Also about a size 2. I'm just not having a lot of good luck with these uh, spawns right now. Um, That is either a size 4 or a size 3. I'm going to say size 4. Let's see. I, I had my eyes open the whole time. That was a dangerous move. Haven't caught trash in a while. <laughs> this is at least a size 3. Feels like it. Easy peasy. Oh, that looks so cool. Another one for the old Blathers man. Blathers man? The old Blathers. I was gonna say Blav Man. This is the dangerous part about doing these videos unedited and live, is like when I say stupid stuff like that, <laughs> I can't I can't take it back. But that's okay. Cause I think being genuine is the reason why you all are here. Ah, red snapper. Okay. Well the hope is to hopefully catch a uh Catch one of the two fish, the Napoleon fish, not the Michelangelo fish, the Napoleon fish or the ocean summer fish before the end of this video. It's looking pretty bleak though, as we are already 23 minutes in. That looks like a size 5. I'm going to scare it away if I can. There we go. Hope you guys have uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Hope you guys have been having better luck uh, catching all these fish and catching all the bugs. Uh, if you're anything like me, um, at the turn of a new month and when all the new bugs and fish start spawning, instead of extending that out for the next, like, month or so, uh, I end up just catching everything within the first couple of days. <laughs> but I think I'm not the only one who does that, so, uh, for anybody who's been playing this game, like, all day and has caught everything, good job. Um, I'll probably catch everything, honestly, by this weekend. We'll just have to wait and see. Oh, that is not new. That's the same. That's just a cricket. Okay. Mm, not what I'm looking for. Up, 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 uh. You know, it's interesting. Also, I guess I'm going to bring this up really quick for the villager hunt that we're doing tomorrow. Um, someone asked, and a lot of people have asked, actually, in the most recent Dream Hunt Villager, Dream Hunt Villager video? Dreamy villager hunt video we did uh hold on a second fin alert we have a fin one second here we go mm. ah, i knew it i knew it uh a lot of people have made the joke of like imagine if you saw raymond and let him go or something like that and people have asked me what i would do if i saw raymond to be honest with you guys 
I wouldn't take him. I know that I, it's so weird that that statement right there would make a lot of people upset. I don't understand that notion why letting someone like Raymond go is such a bad thing. People people like the villagers they like and they don't like. And to be honest with you, Raymond doesn't really fit the vibe of my island. Um, whatever that vibe may be, I just can't see Raymond being a part of it, unfortunately. So, just wanted to bring that up there for anybody who was wondering. Because I do get that question quite a bit. Two more tires and uh, we can start an auto shop. Another cicada. What is that? It looks like that's a size three. Okay. Oops. Let me pull up the app really quick and just go ahead and log this. Pufferfish caught. Mm. Oh, okay. So it's really just these two ocean fish now that we need to uh, to catch. That stag is familiar, so I don't need that one. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Before we end, though, I do need to make a thumbnail. Let me go ahead and do this right here. Oops, don't move, bud. I've already kind of... Uh, see, I made... Oh, I picked up the palm tree. I made a thumbnail here before in this kind of area. Uh, I'm not going to think too hard into it. Let me see. I wish there was a... I wish there was a fish with a fin right here. Let me see if we can't make that happen before the end of this video. Alright, I guess I could do over here as well. Let me see. Uh, okay, maybe, maybe this. Let's get him in the shot. Try to. I could... You know what? Honestly, I could probably just Photoshop a fin onto that. <laughs> Would that be real shady if I did that? There we go. Just take a few. I don't think I took a pop one. Let's go a little bit higher there. All right, we'll, we'll go with that. We'll go with one of those. All right. Anyways, got to scare that one off now. And that one. I hate this island jumping back and forth like this. Oh. All right, second chance. Everybody close your eyes and cross your fingers if I can place this correctly. Here we go. I think this is it, this is it. <laughs> Just the the sheer look of disappointment in my face. <laughs> uh, okay, a couple of stags I already have. Man. Oh. Uh, I think... Let me just pull up. Mm. Okay, it looks very familiar to some of the ones. Actually, that's not a giraffe stag, is it? No, a giraffe stag is on palm trees. Okay, gotcha. So it cannot be it. So it's... Definitely one that I've caught before. All right. Well, uh, to be honest with you guys, um, I think we'll go ahead and call it right there. I'm losing track of time being on this island, man. Losing track of time. <laughs> Let's go home. Take me out of here, Wilbur. All right, while I'm on my way back, uh, just want to say, as always, Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Animal Crossing and Chill. I still do enjoy making these videos for you guys, and I hope that you guys are enjoying it too. Uh, as I mentioned before, um, if you thought the webcam was a little bit weird, let me know and I won't use the webcam anymore. Um, but, you know, I, I was off work. It's later on in the day. I felt a little bit more comfortable being on camera. Um, you know, given the time and stuff like that, so I went ahead and pulled it up. But if you guys didn't really care for it, don't be afraid to let me know in the comments section down below. Um, I end a video here all the time. Let's go end a video on the pier. So, webcam, cool. Second thing, as mentioned earlier, we are going to be doing a villager hunt. Uh, here we go, perfect. Actually, you know what?
There we go. That's our that's our thumbnail right there. I'll probably put it a little bit more to the left, though, just so we can maybe get the surfboard a little bit more in the shot. Perfect. Awesome. Right there. Cool. Okay. So, uh, as I mentioned, um, we do have a villager hunt video coming tomorrow, or rather a villager hunt stream happening tomorrow. Twitch.tv slash RyanFTW. The link to my Twitch will be in the description down below. And we'll also have a pinned comment for you guys to go to as well. It starts at 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, if you don't know what time that is for you relative to your time zone, just Google like what time 9 p.m. Eastern is for me, EST, and you can figure it out. If you can make it, great. If not, as I mentioned, we'll be posting that video probably Saturday because I do plan on doing a Animal Crossing and Chill video on Friday for the swimming update. Otherwise, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Animal Crossing and Chill. I'm honestly probably going to go ahead and try to uh, catch more bugs. That cicada all the way in the upper right-hand corner is... Um, pretty annoying. I <laughs> uh, hope you guys have been having fun with all the new fish and bugs lately. I know that we're all excited for the swimming update. Uh, so if I don't catch you on the live stream tomorrow, then I will catch you during the swimming update on this Friday's Animal Crossing and Chill video. Uh, as always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like and leave a comment down below. Again, either answering any of the questions that I mentioned earlier or just saying something nice. I always like seeing your guys' positive comments. And if you're new to the series or new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. That way, not only do you get updated and notified when those two upcoming videos are posted, but you get notified whenever new videos like this are posted in general. Otherwise, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me on this episode of Animal Crossing and Chill. I apologize for how late this one was. <laughs> Hope that's okay. All right, guys, have a good one. Take it easy. I'll see you later.